Hi everyone, Casey Thompson here. Question we received today was from Bruce in California. The question is, what are higher dimensions? You know, that's a really good question. Basically, higher dimensions are states of consciousness. Each dimension represents a distinct level of awareness, uh, perception, and understanding. As consciousness expands, one ascends through these dimensions. So higher dimensions are higher energetic vibrations, where lower dimensions are denser, slower, and more limited. They are different realms of reality, where specific types of of beings and energies and experiences exist. Uh, these dimensions basically are as follows. The third dimension, which we're all aware of, is our current physical reality, which is planet Earth, which is the very lowest of all frequencies and all vibrations. So planet Earth is, you know, again, third dimension is characterized by length and width and depth and and linear time. Um, it's basically the realm of individuality. It's the realm of separation, the realm of cause and effect, duality like good and bad or light and dark. And it's the, uh, ex the experience of physical embodiment, having a body in this physical world. The focus in the third dimension here on earth is on survival logic and concrete reality. Next, we have the fourth dimension. Basically, the fourth dimension is a bridge dimension. Here, time is more fluid. It's the realm of dreams and emotions with heightened intuition and feeling. It's a place where we process emotions more intensely than we do down here in the third dimension world. Next, we have the fifth dimension. This is the dimension that most people consider to be heaven. This is a state of consciousness with unconditional love and unity. It's where we realize we're all one, where there is absolutely no judgment. Uh, thoughts and intentions manifest quickly and purely here in the fifth dimension. There is access to greater wisdom and access to greater spiritual truths. Experiences are lighter here. They're more harmonious and there are zero physical limitations. Most people stop right here and they don't discuss anything over the fifth dimension. Um, in future shows, I will elaborate more on the sixth to the twelfth dimension dim dimensions. But for now, I'm going to just touch real lightly on each one. So after heaven, the sixth dimension, it's a dimension of blueprint and patterns and cosmic laws. It is the dimension of Christ consciousness, or as some people call it, universal consciousness. The seventh dimension is a dimension of pure light and sound and creation level. It's the realm of the spark of divine consciousness, uh, spiritual mastery, and connection to God. The eighth dimension is the dimension of oversoul. Uh, the ninth dimension is the dimension of cosmic consciousness and the Ashkic records. Uh, the tenth dimension is the dimension of planetary logos and solar systems. After that, we have the 11th dimension, and this is the dimension of galactic consciousness. And finally, we have the 12th dimension, which is the dimension of God or ultimate source. So nothing higher than the 12th dimension. Now, after having gone over all the dimensions, it's very important to keep these things in mind. Um, that dimensions are not physical places, but they are overlapping states of being and frequency that coexist. Highly evolved beings can exist in multiple dimensions at the same time, like 
angels or spirit guides. You'll see that all the time. Movement through dimensions is accomplished by raising your vibration frequency through spiritual practices like cultivating love and compassion and expanding your awareness. So basically, the higher the dimension, the more difficult it is for the human mind to fully understand. Also, understanding these higher dimensions comes down to individual experience, intuition, and really your inner knowing. God bless. Love you all.